In Adobe Captivate 7 update, we've made a few enhancements in the conditional actions panel. Let me take you through all those changes. Let's open one of the existing conditional actions. So I will just go and choose jump here and you can see that the action appears. Previously, if you had to evaluate uh, how the script is written, you had to go through the if section, actions and the else section and then move to the next decision and go on and on uh, to as many decisions that you have added in the past. Very difficult to troubleshoot uh, if uh, you are trying to find out a problem in your script. Not anymore. Now you can get an easy preview of your script in the preview panel. We've added this new button here uh, before the create new action. When you click it, the entire action appears to you in the form of a script. So you can go through the if section, you can see what is there in action, you can close it, you can uh, close the entire action, you can collapse all and just open the one that you are looking at and try and troubleshoot the things with the help of this preview action panel. Let me close this and let me show you something else here. We just had these two buttons uh, in the decision screen and that was to add a decision and to remove a decision. But now we've added these three new buttons. One is duplicate decision, the other is move left and the third and the last one is move right. Let's start with duplicate decision. By and large, in your decisions, some of the actions will be the same and there'll be some minor changes in the other actions. So to get a copy of it, previously you had to uh, copy the script uh, in the if section. So I had to actually shift select these scripts, click the copy button, go and create a new action and uh, come to the if section and paste it here. Then again, uh, go to the action from where I had to copy, copy this action, uh, click the copy button in this area and not there and then go to the next action and paste it here. It was a little tedious because you had to go to if actions and else panel for each and everything to be co copied. Let's uh, remove this. Okay. So, uh, now you can completely copy the entire decision including if action and else sections all you have to do is select it so that it turns blue and click the duplicate decision button and the entire decision is copied for you now you can go and make changes uh, to uh, what you are looking for so i'll just change this to female and then change this jump to slide to uh, female 20 okay so uh, very simple to make these changes instead of going and copying from each and every section and pasting it there also we have these move left and move right decisions which will help you move these decisions from one place to another this is really important in captivate because captivate executes the script from left to right and top to bottom so in that case it becomes really important that you place the script at the correct position where you want it to be executed so this uh, will help you so if you want um, so i'll just name this as new decision And now if I want to uh, move this new decision before mail 20, I can easily click this button and this new decision will be uh, the first decision here. This is also uh, important if you are clubbing a standard action with conditional action. Hope you like these enhancements in a conditional actions panel. And if you have your own list of uh, enhancements that you want in conditional actions, do let us know. We are listening. Thank you very much.